The analysis. What we can see over here on USD CAD, but price testing the supply level over there, we will be looking to sell. Pretty simple. Testing supply, number one. Now, since price is testing that level at the moment, what we can wait for is obviously we'll wait for the most recent factor high for our potential stop loss level over there. The setup. Starting on the four hour time frame, we have a potential level over here. It could be a potential demand level. Next level of demand, we'll have a look at this level over here. And then supply, we'll have a look at this one. And then we'll have a look at this one as well. M15, starting with supply. As you can see, high volume spike up here. We have another one down here, but as we can see, price has obviously broken that level. So that level is no longer relevant. So that's supply number one. And if we look at supply number two, the next potential level is this one over here, where price pushed down with high volume. So that's going to be supply number two, December 18, supply number one, December 19. Then we're going to go and look at the demand. We had a high volume spike over here where price pushed up with high volume over here. So that's demand number one. Then demand number two, January 3rd, we have a high volume spike over here. Okay, but as you can see, price actually pushed down on this level. So this is not a clear level of demand. So if we go back to the four hour time frame and look for another potential clue, the next demand will be this one over here, January 2nd. Going back to January 2nd for demand number two. So we've got a high volume spike over here and a high volume spike over there, there and over here, which is pretty much the same level. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe and hit that bell. Batman, Batman, Batman.